Elucidare organized a total of 25 training activities in Europe, Western Balkans, North and Sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, and Latin America, including 11 coaching sessions, 12 capacity buildings, and two training courses, amounting up to a vast body of blended and on-site knowledge exchange experiences. Based on all our experiences and activities, rooted in shared heritage ideas and knowledge exchanges, we created a tool for local actors, experts, professionals, and basically anyone who wants to embark on a capacity building activity in the heritage sector. We proudly present our Elucidare Capacity Building Roadmap. It is designed to navigate you to a destination where heritage-led innovation meets local and international collaboration. And with a sound review of state-of-the-art literature on international collaboration, education, and mutual knowledge exchanges. Good to know before you check out our Elucidare Roadmap. It's not a road paved in stone. You can consider it as a guiding tool that helps to build a project, because there are, of course, many variables in any capacity building. The extent, your role, your focus, the time and format. Adapt the roadmap according to your route. And remember, this is a participatory tool. It starts from the bottom up and creates horizontal connections between local actors and communities. Now let's go for a ride on a simplified version of the roadmap. For the complete version, check out the Elucidare website. First of all, don't forget to set up your GPS. What is the main goal of the capacity building? What is the topic and for whom is the capacity building intended? In Elucidare, we consider that a heritage-led project should aim to create value and improve the local current situation. Check out our international relations display for more information and examples. As you can see, our Elucidare experiences take you along a scenic route of five main areas. These are milestones in your capacity building adventure. The first step is exploration. Go on site. Carry out informal interviews, get as close to reality as possible. Make sure you focus on knowledge exchanges and connect with local actors. You have your initial idea about the goal for the capacity building, but make sure you don't embark on a project that is either out of your or their reach. As a result of this step, you should have an exploratory plan. The second step is planning. Once we have a clear understanding of the local situation, it's time to draw up an operational plan. Define the objectives of your capacity building in a more realistic way and where you want to make an impact. Think, schedule, budget and monitor an evaluation criteria. The third step is coaching sessions. Validate your capacity building plan and negotiate in situ with diverse local actors on the starting points of your operational plan. We recommend that you do this until you understand the real dynamics among different actors, know their capacities and have a good idea of what you are getting yourself into. Take a look at your checklist. If you don't feel ready, do not worry, you can make a U-turn and check what is missing. Your product at this step is a capacity building project. Look how far you've come. The next step is capacity building. It's time to shift up a gear and develop initiatives that improve the capacities of local actors aligned to their local needs and expectations. Remember that overall, this is a smooth learning process, so do not stress out if it is slightly altered. But this also means your project needs to be adaptable. The capacities gained are the result of this step. The last step on our journey is evaluation and monitoring. After your undoubtedly incredible experience in collaborating with local actors on their heritage, it is time to sustain and improve. Once the capacity building is completed, it is important to measure its success and results, which can be tangible and intangible. Our roadmap provides you indications on how to do this. The preliminary impact assessment is the final resort on your roadmap, but not of your journey. 
Keep in mind that direct mind shifts cannot always be seen right after a capacity building, but leaving a seed is already a success. This is our capacity building roadmap in a nutshell, but that is not all. We created various tools to keep you going. Along the way, you count with essentials and mechanisms with questions to help you to move forward. You will also find stop signs telling you to reflect and double check, traffic lights and tips to give you guidance, and inspirational windows with examples from the Elucidare capacity buildings. In addition, we put in your dashboard a toolbox and groups of stakeholders that can be helpful. Make sure to welcome them aboard or keep them on board at the beginning of each step or milestone. If you have a sudden urge to set up your own capacity building project, check out our complete roadmap on the Elucidare website. We hope it can help in many future projects and help kickstart a process where Heritage gets a seat in the same car as innovation and international relations at local, national, transboundary and international levels. Thank you for daring to learn about capacity building. See you in another video.